guys, welcome back to part two of my Lola and Bugs Bunny set that I've done on Price on Nails. So again, I'm just coming in and using some gel polishes and gel paints to create the design. Um, all these colours are from Shinty's. So I'm just doing it the same as I've done um, Lola Bunny in part one, so I hope you guys have seen that. Um, the brush that I'm using is the Neil Kame size 8. And as I said already, the paints, the gel polishes, sorry, are from Shinty's. So all I'm doing at the moment is painting on the grey parts of his face. And then I'll pop in a lamp for a flash cure before coming in and doing any more. So now that that's been flash cured in the lamp, I'm coming in and adding the white, so this is his cheeks. Um, I'll also add in the his neck sorry, and his eyes and then pop it in the lamp again for a cure. So I'm then going to come in with some pink and add on his little nose and then I'll use some black shinty's gel which you've just seen there and then we'll outline some of this.
So throughout doing these kind of designs, I do have a reference photo that I can keep referring back to that allows me to make sure all of this is in proportion um, and that I'm getting everything. So that kind of looks like Bugs Bunny once I'm finished. Also, while working on designs like this, if I've got a section right and I'm really happy with it, I will go in and flash cure it just to hold it so that I don't knock it. Um, and then that allows me to wipe off anything that I'm not happy with. So just say, like, I was outlining the eyes and my hand started shaking or I knocked myself, something like that. Um, at least if I had flash cured the sections that I did like, I'd only be wiping off my mistakes. I hope that makes sense. But what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just going in and doing the pupils of his eye. So the brush that I'm using is the Natalie Muggeridge brush from Nail Sugar. Um, I absolutely love this brush because I could work in really, really fine lines. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favourite brushes. So I'm just working on the inside of his mouth at the moment to add some darker shades um, and it's like a mixture of red and black that I'm doing at the moment so this will make his teeth stand out a lot better as well. I'll then come in and add on the parts of his ears that I could fit in. So just outlining and then I'll fill them in later on. So I'm just going to add on some whiskers, so still using that brush and we're just painting on some thin lines. Now with the Bugs Bunny nail, I'll do the same as what I've done with the Lola Bunny and I will add on a couple of hearts as well.
So now working on the rest of these nails, I'm just coming in and adding on my background colour of each of them. So two coats on each nail. And on this one what I'm going to do is two halves of a heart, so this half at this side, sorry I'm not describing this very well again, but you'll see in a second what I mean, and then we'll do the same on the other side but a smaller version. So on this nail I'm going to write the word love, so just using some weight in that brush and I'm doing it going up the nail like a diagonal if that makes sense. And then once this is cured I will come in and fill in the bottom with the same colour that I used on that thumb for the background. And I forgot to film the other pink nail, so I do apologise. I think actually my phone rang or something like that. But if you want to see sort of how I've done that, then look at part one of the Lola and Bugs nails. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed watching this. Sorry I'm kind of out of shot a wee bit here, but all I'm doing is just filling in the bottom section of that nail. Anyway, guys, I'll speak to you in the next video, and bye for now.